When Penn and Taylor Foolis approached me and asked me if I would do the show, I told them flat out, never gonna happen. Please welcome the Aussie win! Okay, I ended up doing it, but allow me to explain why I refused to do it for so long. Every magician that's been on this show has tried to fool Penn and Teller, and then they tried to figure it out. There was something about the concept that bothered me. The emphasis, the focus was on fooling people. Basically educating the public that the most important thing about magic is to fool them. Now, it is a component in magic that's very important. You want to fool them, you want it to be deceptive, but it's not the main goal. After going back and forth for years whether or not to do the show, they eventually had the way to get me on the show. They said, listen, just you don't need to fool us, do whatever you want. And that was great because now I could choose what I wanted to do instead of just choosing a trick that I knew would fool them, but not necessarily a good piece of magic. Call me superstitious, but another factor that convinced me to do the show was the fact that the shoot was on my birthday. And the Penn and Teller crew could not have been nicer. They brought me this beautiful cake, and I'm vegan, it's a vegan cake. The vegan crew thought it was delicious. After many years of seeing this show, I realized that the public does not care whether or not you fool them. They only care about one thing. Was it a great piece of magic or not? Yes, it's nice if you get the trophy at the end. Thank you so much. Well, it's the holiday trophy, but it's still a trophy. When working on a piece for TV, there's so much that you have to think about. I mean, just starting with the background. What they prepared for me was very nice and Jewish. But I wanted something that was clever. Uh, so in a way, I put the explanation for the trick out in the open from the moment I set foot on stage. There's something really satisfying about hiding in plain sight. I know that what I wore was very simple, but even that took a lot of consideration. Uh, what they wanted me to wear was quite different. I probably should burn this photo. The public thinks that we magicians are so scared about getting the secrets out and we're protecting them all the time. But the truth is, sometimes we want to share the methods because they're so beautiful and clever. Well, most of the times they're ugly and stupid, but sometimes the methods are so devious. The only reason I don't reveal my secrets is because it comes at a cost. Only a few people realize that once they know how it's done, the mystery is gone. But keep in mind that once I show you how it's done, you can't unknow it. Do you still want to know how it's done? Huh? The concept of this act is very simple. I wanted to give the audience a chance, a glimpse into what only I can see as a magician. It will cause all the decks inside to rotate, okay? It all started with my obsession with a trick by Tommy Wonder, uh, where the method was way prettier than the effect, at least in my opinion. So whenever I had friends over, I wanted to show them the explanation and not the performance. Normally when I work on a trick, I first think about what is the effect? What am I after? And then I find different methods to achieve it. With this piece, I worked backward. I first thought about what's the most beautiful method I can come up with, and then, then I'll find the effect to go along with it. Every single card, every one of these, except for one card in the middle is the King of Clubs. No, 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 no! I was really sure you're gonna say King of Clubs, that I took this card from a different deck. That's how sure it was. It's the only blue card in the deck. No, no, no! I was really sure. I, I don't have any other card but the King of Clubs. It's the only card I have here. These are all blanks. Every one of these cards is a blank card. This is the only option, the only card you could have named. I know I said I don't care about fooling Penn and Teller, but I did work my ass off. Coming up with a method to an old trick where I could hand the cards at the end and be as clean as can be. I know you love to examine cards, so these are for you. Happy holidays. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. This routine is quite complex, so I didn't get a lot of chances to perform it in front of a live audience. So I went to Delaware, to Dickens Parlor Theater, owned by Rich Block. And Rich is so great that he will allow me to try something new that might not work. Oh, you see how this could help you with the trick? <laughs> Many kids on YouTube try to reveal how a trick works, but it's impossible. I mean, just this trick alone took me years of development, rehearsal, failure, practice, and I'm still working on it. In order for you to truly understand how a trick works, 
You need to dedicate your life to it and become a magician.